Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Winter weather advisory goes into effect this evening and will last through tomorrow. The, the storm is going to be in two parts. First is that freezing rain and sleet threat tonight. Then the possibility of heavy rain as we head through Tuesday and then switching to some snow that looks like it is going to accumulate, especially in our north uh, eastern counties up to Schuylkill County and near Scranton as we head on into late on Wednesday. But the first things first, let's talk more about what you can expect for the uh, evening tonight and also the rain coming in uh, later overnight. So outside right now, taking a look over York, we are at 31 degrees under cloudy skies. Here's the kicker. The wind's still out, out of the east-northeast. They're going to turn out of the south. Southeast as we head through the overnight hours. It's currently 30 degrees in York, 31 or 30 in Harrisburg, 31 in York, and 30 in Carlisle. We did have some light flurries, but over the past hour or so, they have fizzled out over northern portions of Dauphin County and on up into Snyder County. Here's the storm system we're watching very close to right now, just bringing some light showers off the coast of North Carolina. This is going to work its way up toward the Delmarva coastline by the time we head into early tomorrow, and that's when we're anticipating the rain and sleet to start to pick on up. So through the rest of the evening, cloudy and cool. A Possible of seeing some flurries and then light freezing rain and sleet possible starting during the overnight hours. Could see some light ice accumulation on bridges and overpasses that could linger into tomorrow morning. Could even see some light snow showers. Uh, for areas mainly north and northwest of the I 81 Turnpike, not expecting much accumulation at this time with the exception of that light icing. Then we're looking for widespread rain through the majority of tomorrow and then it will switch back over to some light snowfall heading into late on Tuesday and will linger. With some scattered showers on into Wednesday, mainly in the form of snow. 30 right now in Lancaster and 30 in Lebanon, but look at the temperatures off to our south. Right now, it's in the upper 30s in Washington. Once those winds start to shift around that back edge of the high pressure, our temperatures will go up, but they'll go up first at the cloud level. That's why I'm expecting we'll start to see some freezing rain. So let's time this out here for you on the predictor. Notice as we get into about 2 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see that move into the southern portions of the Susquehanna Valley. Then we're talking all rain by 7 to 8 o'clock. The rain will be heavy, especially in eastern portions of Pennsylvania. Then as we head into Tuesday evening, as the storm center starts to track away, that's when the colder air starts to spill on in, and we'll see the chances for some scattered snow showers continuing on in through late Wednesday into early Wednesday. Here we are at Wednesday by 7 o'clock. That's when I expect it to start to taper off. So just giving you a timeline again of what we can expect, some light freezing rain and some sleet with some possible light coating of ice on some bridges and overpasses. This will move into some moderate rain, could be heavy at times through tomorrow, and then starting to switch over to some scattered snow showers and some uh, uh, light, light, uh, light accumulations as we head on into early on Wednesday morning into the afternoon. At 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I'm going to show you what type of snow or how much snow could possibly fall. So heading into later tonight, that's when we expect that to move on in. Be advised of that. Could see some chances of some snow lingering as late as Thursday in the forecast. Got some kids art to show you. This is appropriate. We've got a wintry scene from Mr. Timothy Snow from New Providence. Great picture there, Timothy. And 